everyone, I am MechaRandom42, your favorite YouTube Harvey, and we, we have some Captain Marvel-ish news, you know, just just because we can't, we can't talk enough about Brie Larson. I mean, it's not Captain Marvel, really, but it's still Brie Larson, and they're dropping it now because of the massive success of Captain Marvel, right? I, I don't care. You guys wanted me to react to Unicorn Store, but let's, let's, what is Unicorn Store? What is this a little bit? I have no crapping idea. So there's an article. There is an article from Yahoo, actually, of all things. Brie Larson made her directorial debut at the 2017 Toronto International Film Festival with Unicorn Store, but it wasn't until earlier this year that the quirky coming-of-age dramedy found a home on Netflix as part of a two-film deal that also includes Larson's forthcoming effort, Lady Business. Lady business. I don't want to know what that is. I have I have that once a month. I don't need to know what that is. We don't need a movie about it, right? On Friday, the streaming service will re release the first trailer for Larson's film, which will premiere on April 5th. Uh, in Unicorn Store, Larson plays Kit, a young woman who flunks out of art school. Wait. How do you flunk out of art school? For painting? Art school for... Flunk, flunks... T it, it appears with too many rainbows, puffs of glitter... Um, okay, so, so if all you're drawing is rainbows and puffs of glitter, then maybe you shouldn't be in art school, right? Maybe you're eight years old and should just be drawing for fun because, you know, don't, don't they, from what I remember in art school or in like in art class, I didn't go to actual art school. I went to art classes in high school. From what I remember there, they would give you kind of assignments and like if it's something where, hey, draw this still life and she draws it, but using a rainbow technique or something that kind of is her signature style, maybe? That might be interesting. She probably wouldn't do that. She's probably just going la 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 la, rainbows and, and puffs and glitter and things for eight-year-old girls. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> We're going to react to the trailer. You see the tab open. You do see the tab open. <laughs> Oh, too many rainbows and puffs of glitter. Moves back in with her parents, played by Joan Cusack and Bradley Whitford. Oh, Joan Cusack, you're better than this. Oh, well, maybe, maybe she won an Oscar or something for it. She probably didn't. And takes up a dead end, a dead end position at a temp agency, replacing her whimsical palette of blues, purples, and sparkles and greens for the drab template of corporate life. She receives a mysterious multicolor invitation to a mysterious subterranean shop with her storekeeper played by Samuel L. Jackson, clad in a pink suit and an afro garnished in tinsel, claims while jabbing a finger at a kick at Kit. Wow, why did I read that as jabbing a finger at a Kit Kat? I was picturing that. That doesn't say that. Because usually when you see Kit, it always is like, immediately accompanied with cat. It goes together like peanut butter and jelly or... <sighs> yeah. <laughs> to sell what you need and what kit needs naturally is a unicorn oh lord we're, we're really doing that we're really we're really really doing the unicorn aren't we oh god well, you know it's fine it, it is fine to do that we do have a special a special unicorn just for special occasions here that we will bring up it, it is the Derpicorn. It is the Derpicorn from the, uh, that was inspired by, and a total parody of the new, the new Netflix She-Ra, Princess of Power, that is nothing to do with She-Ra, nothing to do with princesses, nothing to do with power, and everything to do with, uh, some self-insert fan fiction. Do we need the Derpicorn? Do we, oh lord, this, uh, you need, is naturally a unicorn. Is, is there really gonna be a fucking unicorn in this? Is there really? <laughs> Okay, T time out, time out. I have every, every one of the unicorns, the Pegasus, the original My Little Ponies that came back because I was a huge fan of the original in the 80s. I'm a grown woman. I don't want to see a movie where an art school dropout buys a unicorn because that sounds like something I would watch when I was seven years old. If that's who this is for. But this is a, this is from the Toronto Film Festival. <sighs> now now I'm dreading this. Now I'm dreading watching the trailer. If I have one brought here, 
I have to know that you're for real, Jackson's character says. So a kid sets about preparing her home for a new unicorn's arrival, much to the chagrin of her parents and the bemusement of hardware store clerk. Mama do Anthony, I'm not saying your name right. I'm so sorry. Uh, Kit befriends along the way. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is, 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 this, is this the story of a white girl getting a whole bunch of diversity friends because that's the popular thing to do or because that's what I can imagine here? And not that, you know, I, I know all kinds of people. I have friends of all walks of life. I don't... When when I see it coming across from somebody who is so social justice warriory, I feel it, it, it. My my first thought, and I know you guys are thinking this too, is oh, you're you're wearing a person like a handbag, aren't you? And Samuel L. Jackson is no Chihuahua purse or purse Chihuahua. Is it a purse Chihuahua purse puppy? Ah, I can't even talk tonight. You guys are making me so mad again with this article, <laughs> and I haven't even started. We haven't even started. You know, and, and I'm gonna, full, full disclosure, I've been like in bed all day with a pretty bad migraine, so I'm a little loopy right now. If I say words backwards, that's why. <laughs> the most grown thing you can do is fail at the things you really care about, Kusak, as, as Kit's mother says in the trailer, which sounds like a thesis statement for a film about the childish adult black sheep in your family. The childish adult, because we really need more of those. We really need more of those. Okay, now this makes sense. So this is a movie about, you know, the, these uh, the, these sort of anti-comics gate sort of people. You know the types. You you know the types. You know who I'm talking about. You know exactly which which blue-haired woman I'm talking about. Which which other. You know who I'm talking about with this. Okay, so that's who this movie is for. These grown children who, who go around on Twitter all day being annoying and, and, and obnoxious and causing trouble for people. That, 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 cause that's what I picture when I see a grown adult children, by the way. The SJW types, they are grown adult children. <laughs> Upon its release, Unicorn Store, which was largely scored by Larson's former fiance, Alec Greenwald, received some middling reviews, largely for its meandering plot and themes. Oh, fuck me, running, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> meandering. That's, that's a great way to sell a movie. Say it's meandering. Oh, Unicorn Store charge a wi charts a wayward journey of self-growth that never achieves even the slightest hint of narrative momentum. <laughs> We're going to have to watch this. Oh, Lord. Oh, do you guys want me to watch this movie? I might have to watch this movie for the channel. It sounds terrible. Maybe it's good. Who knows? But Larson's own performance and elements of her direct girl style were equally pulled out for praise. Hello, motorcycle. Something else to look for out for. I have to stop a second. Motorcycle? What the hell are you doing? It's raining outside right now. This is why I've, had, I've been in bed all day with a migraine because there's a huge pressure front coming right over the mountains. I'm in the foothills. I get th the brunt of it. Massive sinus headache, migraine Ooh, from it. And thank you for subscribing. I have the sound up. I didn't have the notifications up, but thank you so much for subscribing, new person. <sighs> Is a disaster, but you know, we're going with it. We're knocking shit off my desk. We're going with it because I think this is funny. I think this is funny. If this isn't funny, if this is cringe, then tell me, tell me in the comments. But yeah, that was my makeup, by the way. <laughs> this, this is what Brie Larson videos all day make, make me think of. I think between that and the, the combination of the medication that I had to take in order to just wake up for today, yeah, this is this is this is gonna be a fun one. This is a fun one. Oh, but Larson's own performance and elements of direct row style pulled out for praise. Oh, so she can act in this one. Is she just acting like a snotty little rich girl? Because that's what she acts like in everything. You know, she has that kind of bitchy, you know, why are you asking me that? What, what, are, we, what are you doing? Why are you asking me that sort of thing? Something else to look out for, the costumes. In the trailer alone, Kit wears a rainbow star pattern matching set. Sort of like Jenny Lewis's Voyager look. I don't know who that is, but pajamas. She's wearing pajamas. Oh my God, she is wearing pajamas there. <sighs> She's too rich to be the Walmart girl in the Eeyore pajama bottoms. She's too rich for that. That's usually for like the super, super trashy people that are out at Walmart at three in the morning in their pajamas. A green glittery fringed look worthy of Alessandro Michelle's Gucci, various rainbow stripes and tweeted pleat skirts, even her office look. A tea length 
pleated skirt and matching blazer with a floral button down wouldn't be out of place a tom brown's runway see this is what brie larson wants to be she wants to be a model right she wants to be a runway model is what it really really seems like because she's very much anytime i see her it's it's all about the clothes it's all about the fashion and stuff which is great keep keep go to fashion keep out of the social justice politics and and just say hey i love everybody no matter what you are that's that's how you do it you know just just that's how you do it. Let's, do you guys want to see the trailer? I want to, I, I don't want to see the trailer. I really, really don't, but we're going to watch the trailer. Also, uh, Derpicorn, you know, what? We'll, we'll hang on, we'll hang on to the Derpicorn just for funsies. How about, how about that? We'll hang on to the Derpicorn. Trailer, where are you? I got you pulled up. Oh, let's go right, right there. Derpicorn, we'll, we'll move you, you know, like there, like there. Oh, you know, we might have to block it a little bit. We might have to obscure. We'll, we'll do that. We'll obscure it just a little bit so 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 that, like, boop. There, you guys can see enough of it. This is on this is on Netflix, so if you guys do have a subscription to Netflix, this is on the Netflix YouTube channel. I will drop a link in the description below. This came out today. Let's, let's do this thing. Let's watch this. She's painting. You got paint on your shoes, sweetie. And glitter. Oh my god, she can smile. Sorry, I had to pause it. She smiled. Holy shit. And oh lord, what is this? This is not. <sighs> mm, okay, two seconds in. She's in a gallery. Right? Okay. We've all had that friend who's like, you, you have like a really talented friend who actually does really good like gallery work. And then you have the other friend who's in like a little hallway in a school or something, like a bunch of craft project stuff. Yeah, the, this this is this is the uh, this is the uh, this, this is the ele this is the elementary school hallway sort of level of art expression. I think so far. First off, she didn't do what they what was asked of her. This is why she probably failed out of out of art school because she didn't do what was asked of her very much. I mean, she could probably argue, yes, I did a self portrait, but you also destroyed the wall at the at the museum, and you know, this is two minutes. This trailer, by the way, we're seven seconds in. Feeling like a failure. Well, life passed you by. I can't take any more rejection. Honey, you remember Kevin? Wow, Kit, you look just the same. Uh -huh. So, so she's she's laying on the couch there. But what's your plan now that you've been kicked out of school? <sighs> I've taken a temporary position at a public relations firm. Oh, she can smile. Did you always know this? Was that a Wii U? Do, or did you want to do another thing first? Like. Did you always want to talk like that out of the growl of the back of your voice? Or did you ever want to be like, be an announcer? Did you ever want to do radio? Try and enunciate, please. I know you're doing art movies. Speak up. I, I, ugh. Did I dream of figure skating, but my parents wouldn't pay for the lessons? You don't want to be a temp forever, do you? No one wants to be a temp forever. <laughs> I got a letter for you. Get ready. Get ready for what? Get ready for the store. Is this where it actually gets good? Have come to the store. Love him. Why is he? And I am the salesman. Behold, we sell what you. Is he fucking her? Why are they in everything together? Oh my god, it's an actual fucking unicorn. <gasps> This is th this reminds me of like the Lego movie where they say, "Oh, hey, even the most mundane person can can be special." Um, but in a really cringy way. The only thing I ever wanted. If I have one brought here, I have to know that you're for real. <sighs> okay, what is this movie rated? What does it say? Is it rated? Childhood dreams. Is this for kids? Is this for kids? Is this is this like a serious grown-up adult movie? This is a kids movie, right? Now I feel bad I'm ripping on it. Is this a kids movie? I've made 
made a decision. I'm building a home worthy of a unicorn. I'm thinking something like a stable. I don't think a pony wants to live in your basement. That's a good point. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Should we just get you a puppy? I know that I'm just a disappointment. You're always like, why don't you have a boyfriend? Or why aren't you just more like Kevin? Oh, someone call me? No! Okay, so she does really well at the playing the uh, bitchy teenager again, you know, even though she's a full grown adult teenager. Which was why I didn't like her in Captain Marvel. <laughs> but she's good at being that little bitchy teenager. Go, good on ya. I don't know how to be a grown up. My parents think that I'm insane. Honey, what is really going on? This is crazy. The most grown up thing you can do is fail at things you really care about. You need to learn to love yourself. Get out there and show us what you can do. I will. So she needs to learn to love herself. Okay. The gr most grown up thing you can do is fail at something you care about. Yes. Yes. Or, you know, just buck up and actually be responsible. Right? You know, and, and failing, failing is a part of life. Failing is absolutely a part of life. This movie's been on the shelf for two years, by the way. So, so they usually don't, you know, if a movie's really, really wonderful and good, they usually release it right away. This one's been sitting in the hopper for a couple of years. <sighs> Buck up and be a grown up about it. Like, she has a job, which is a good start. She failed out of art school. Probably a bad thing. You probably shouldn't have let your kid go to art school if all she does is draw like unicorns and rainbows. I don't know. Maybe she can get a job over at Marvel. I've seen what they've been doing lately. They, thanks to like Yellow Flash and your boy Zach and all those all those people. I've, I've seen the type of level of work they've been doing over there lately. Well, you know, why not? It's not the dumbest thing I've ever heard for, you know, let's, let's just market books to, you know, filled with sparkles and rainbows and unicorns and Oh, my lord. Everybody needs some magic in their lives. Even if they're all grown up. Stop wearing pajamas outdoors. Tell me, where does this unicorn come from? The unicorn store. Oh, of course. The unicorn store. Is she eight years old? This is a little kid's movie, right? What's this rated? Does it say what it's rated? Only on Netflix April 5th. What is this rated? I, I, you know, I don't, I don't know what to make of this. This is, <sighs> so, so first off, let me see what this is rated. Unicorn store, what are you rated? Probably not. It's probably unrated. No, I, I don't want, it's, <laughs> it's giving me the score. It's, it's giving me the, the like Rotten Tomatoes score. All right. What, Rotten Tomatoes, what do you say about it? <laughs> 68% on Rotten Tomatoes. What? Yes, what is your MPA rating? Who's your target audience? Who's the demographic for this? That's what I want to know. Because when I see something like that, okay, is this for little kids? Is this for grown adults? Is this... My, my, the critic brain is kind of is kind of going. I think this is for, like, 30-year-old children who spend their whole day harassing people on Twitter who want the magic, who can't, who just can't grow up, who just can't understand grown up stuff. And you, then you play video games and do kids stuff, right? They don't understand the balance. They don't understand the, okay, make sure your bills are paid. The, 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 and, and, and like the people that flash in my mind are, are like the, uh, I, I bring in, I, I watch a lot of the kick Vic YouTubers. So or actually the I stand with Vic YouTubers about the kick Vic people for the Vic Mignogna case. And, and you know, the type of people who start GoFundMes to pay their rent. Is that who this is for? Is that like the, the cultural plague that is on <laughs> that, that, that is kind of on our planet right now? Is, is that who this is for? Like the, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess good message ish. If you know, <laughs> It's just like every Brie Larson message, though. Every, everything she says is like, yeah, and your point is? And, and, and that is Brie Larson in a nutshell. Th this, is, this, this really reminds me of, of something that's trying to be super smart. But it's like the first person who, who discovered, you know, that, that McDonald's tasted good or that you could slice bread, right? It's like, yeah, we know. We know. We get it. Where, where have you been, you <laughs> know? So, so like all of her messages are like, magic is good and, and have a little fun and believe in yourself. 
yeah, we knew that, like, 30 years, I don't know, maybe I'm just an old, jaded person. Sa- same thing with all of her messages, like, anytime you see her at award shows with the, you know, I want more people at the table, I want more voices at the table, well, yeah, we, we get it, diversity good, we, 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 we agree, done, <laughs> um, what are you gonna do about it? I don't know. I didn't think that far ahead. I'm, I'm making a movie and I want to wear expensive clothes and expensive shoes and I want to be included and I want to be amazing and I want to do so much for all underprivileged people of the world because I can. Yeah, what's your point? <laughs> you know? that, that's, that's what Brie Larson says to me. I'm confused by this. What did you guys think? I know this is a bit of a long video, but this is kind of to make up for not really doing anything today and being sick. I apologize if it's a little all over the place and a lot of bloopers and me hitting the microphone and being crazy. I I don't know what to make of this, but yeah, I, I'm confused. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Uh, the, the next unboxing video will be soon for uh, Mecca Rhino 42, P.O. Box 1566 Loveland, Colorado 80539. Thank you so much, and I will see you on the next video or live stream. Bye! Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!